ها قد تنام حلمكم من مثلكم قد حاز من دنياه حفظا للكتاب And I made mention of, and I said it yesterday in Barbados, one of the reasons why we are being diverted and forgetting what life is all about is because of the entertainment industry. Do you know that? The entertainment industry is so powerful. Say what you want. It's overtaken a lot of us already. Entertainment. It affects our lives. It influences the way we look, the way we talk, the way we say things, the accent we have. What happens? A lot of us are affected because why? It's powerful. And can I tell you one gadget to blame for the downfall of a lot of people is actually a mobile phone. It's a mobile phone. It is technology such that the country of technology known as Japan you're not allowed to touch a phone before a certain age. You will be fined if your child is playing with a phone before the age of six or, or eight. I think it's six if I'm not mistaken. No phone. You're not allowed. The child must play with proper mechanical toys. Did you know that? And these are the, the fundies when it comes to technology. They are the top of the notch. You know what I mean. Japan. Why? And with us, let me be honest with you, one and a half years old, they, we are proud of the fact that my son can actually handle my iPhone better than I can. How old is the child? One and a half. And we're proud about it. And the other mother says, mine is one year, four months. <laughs> That's what we do. One year, four months. Don't worry, she's just acknowledging that what we said is right. Okay. So, and what happens? They start off, they play games, they, have, they haven't had a proper childhood. And what happens? On there, those games, one leads to another. A lot of the games are connected to violence. And this is planned. I always tell myself, why are the fathers of these games not creating a game where you, get a re where, where you score points when you save a person? You only score points when you kill someone. You only score points when you do something bad. But when you save a life or when you go out to feed for every hamper that you gave the poor, you get points. Those games would be boring for our kids. They want to drive at what speed? <laughs> do you know from that age, people blame me for driving fast. Come on, man. Come on. 250 to 300 kilometers an hour on that little game that you're playing and you're turning the corners and you're going around and the quicker you can get across why don't they give you points to stick to the speed limits i haven't found a single game that gives you points to stick to the speed limits not one why it shows you that they're just teaching you to break the rules to do as you want to go and kill people to attack that's the entertainment those are the games they play with subhanallah may allah forgive us think about this it's something we need to all cry about the non-muslims agree with what i'm saying they agree that we have a crisis we have a problem across the globe those who are sane, those who are religious, no matter what their religion is, those who have a little bit of morality in them, they will tell you the same. The skirts are all going higher. And guess what's happening to the trousers? They're all going lower. That's society today. I remember once in Salah, in Salah, we were sitting in the last Tashahud. You know, it's Al-Qadat Al-Akhira, just when you're reading Tahiyyat. And someone's phone rang with a dirty song when i say dirty song i mean you know nowadays the songs are such that they are worse than pornography they describe things in such a dirty way you might ask me how do i know can i tell you how i know let me tell you <laughs> we were at a certain supermarket we were at a supermarket right and in the background there was a music playing which we don't take notice of but the volume was slightly louder and I was walking down the aisle and I heard a bad word. And I'm like, what? And then I concentrated for a few seconds. Trust me, I put my trolley back and walked out. I couldn't take more of it. And I learned that this is not only the new type of music, but people are playing it publicly without even giving a damn. Their movements have become dirty and filthy. Subhanallah. Astaghfirullah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. Yeah.